Kent. You know, we continue to follow our consumer alert now. The investigation into Enfamil newborn baby formula. Walmart and health officials are awaiting tests on a batch of powder formula that was removed from more than 3,000 stores nationwide. This came after a Missouri newborn died from a rare infection. A second Missouri infant got sick after consuming the formula in the last month, but that child recovered. Now, the government has not ordered a recall of the formula. Investigators will look at the formula as well as the water that was actually used in preparing that baby's specific bottle. Now, people who bought the Enfamil formula in 12 and a half ounce cans with the lot number ZP1K7G, you want to write that down if you give your baby this type of formula, they have the option of returning them for a refund. And joining us now is Dr. Vandana Bade. You're from the Mayo Clinic and you're a pediatrician and internist. Thank you so much for being here with us. Now, doctor, this sounds scary to those of us who give our babies formula. Of how common is this bacteria and how can it be transmitted? Should we be scared? Well, Mary, it's actually very rare. So there isn't any reason to panic. Okay. Um, in fact, only 120 cases have been reported since 1958. Mm -hmm. So certainly this is very rare. Mm -hmm. It's more common in premature babies, in very low birth weight um, infants. The baby we were talking about was just 10 days old. Right. So that's something to be right. aware of. Right. Okay. Babies under the age of six months of age, they don't have the same immune system that you and I have. So they're mm -hmm. certainly more prone to infection. Mm -hmm. And there are things that we can do to make the formula safer. Right. Tell us that because um, so many of us, you know, who do turn to this for our babies or our grandbabies, uh, mm -hmm. there are ways to do it. And you had mentioned to me that, that um, some might use tap water. Right, right. Don't so do that's that. right. So tap water, I really try to avoid using tap water. Instead, sterile water is safer. Mm -hmm. Um, and you should uh, you can buy that at the store, right? In the exactly, in, okay. a, in any grocery store or in any drug store. When you make the formula, uh, use it within four hours. Mm -hmm. If you're going to refrigerate it, try to use it within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And of course, wash your hands mm -hmm. before you make the formula. Meticulous, right? Just really meticulous hygiene because it really is everywhere in the environment. It's in it's the particular bacteria, is. right? Chronobacter Sakazaki. It's mm -hmm. actually. Um, a very well-known um, bacteria in the family called Enterobacteriaceae. I know that's a really long term. Right. You don't have to remember that, right. but it's very, very common. So it's, it's a common bacteria, but it it's is. rare to actually get it to right, actually to have, have this happen. Right, and have infections from it. It's actually very rare. It's um, the most common, again, in premature infants mm -hmm. and very low birth weight infants. What uh, would the symptoms be, though, if, you know, if your baby was... Uh, it did pick up this bacteria. Well, what would you, you see? would worry about fever. Okay. You would worry about irritability. Um, the two most common infections that occur, again, they're rare, but they do occur, and those are meningitis, which is an infection of the spinal That's fluid, mm -hmm. and a stomach infection called necrotizing enterocolitis. Okay. So uh, if a baby is vomiting, having diarrhea, really irritable, those are the signs that you should take uh, your, your infant to your physician and Absolutely. have her checked out. Absolutely. Take action then. Right, exactly. Dr. Bidet, thanks so much for, for being here and explaining this to us. Now, we have the information on the recall on our website. That's news4jacks.com. Make sure you look, up, look for it. It's under our top story. Kent?